hope you've been doing well. I sure miss being here with you. Um, so it's 11 o'clock, so let's go ahead and get started with our chair yoga. So sitting up nice and tall, toes are forward, knees and ankles are in line. You notice I gotta look, make sure that everything is where it belongs. And then sitting up tall, thinking about elongating through the spine, your hips, shoulders, and ears are right in line with each other. Good. All right. Let's take one ear to the side, closing your eyes for just a moment and relaxing, taking that big deep breath. Good. From this position, I want you to tuck your chin. Good. I'm going to move that mic up just a little bit. There you go. So I went from the ear to the shoulder to the chin towards the chest. It was a diagonal movement, breathing. Relaxing, warming everything up, kind of getting it ready for a deeper stretch. Let's bring that ear over and then other side. So we go over with the ear and then tuck your chin. Breathing, nice big deep breaths. Feeling that stretch in the neck. Starting to warm up those muscles. Good, bring that ear over and all the way up. Now tuck your chin and let's roll it. Roll that chin down and over. Never taking the ear past the shoulder, so I'm not gonna do a whole circle with that neck. It's not good for my spine, not good for the cervical spine. Good, and then let's bring that head all the way up. Let's do a little look up. So I want you to tuck your, or bring your chin up, take those ears a little past the shoulder. Now I'm not letting the head fall completely back. I'm not losing muscle control here. I'm just controlling that look up. And I want you to take your jaw and we're gonna open your mouth and then clench your jaw. And feel that stretching through the neck. And repeat it a few times. We're stretching right through that front area there. Good. Tighten all those muscles. One more. Hold this last one. Good. And then let's bring it down. So that's a little bit of neck yoga right there. Now let's shake our head. Like you're saying no. No, we don't want any more big thunderstorms like maybe we had last night. We just had a lot of rain at my house. Not a lot of thunderstorms. And then bring it here, a little shrug. Who knows, right? Who knows why? All right. And then let's roll. Roll those shoulders. We started right from the tippy top. been a while since we've done chair yoga together. I'm going to demonstrate a few things that we can do seated in the chair that we can also do standing. So if I stood up and I said that I wanted you to do um, a warrior one, this is what that warrior one would look like in the chair. So I could do it standing, but I could also do it here. So let's inhale, lift. Here's our warrior one right here. We could elongate that leg backward if we have that flexibility or not. We don't have to. You could also anchor here on the side of the chair. Here's that warrior one, stretch it up. Good, now we're gonna pivot, here's that warrior two. So if we were standing, it would look different, but in the chair, this is what it looks like. So we're in that warrior two, ta-da, right? We're right in the front. Good, let's pivot back with that warrior one right here. Good, and we can even do a bowing warrior. We can put our hands on our hips, and we could bow right here. We can put our hands behind as well, pushing that foot into the floor. So push that foot into the floor flat. Swing those arms forward for that warrior one. And bring it to that warrior two. Beautiful. While we're here, let's get a good side stretch. So let's face forward with a, a warrior one. And we're gonna bring that arm up and over. So if I were standing and doing a warrior one, if you stayed seated, this is what you would be doing. 
Good. Oh, stretch it out. Let's look underneath that armpit. Good. Stretch it. Feel that stretch. Push that knee or relax that knee towards the floor. So relax through the hip. Let the weight of the leg fall, pulling that leg down. Good. And then inhale and lift. Now slide that leg forward. And just like I'd switch sides if I were standing, we're going to switch sides here. So we're in that warrior one. We're going to inhale, lift, and reach. Good. Maybe I can extend this leg back if I have that flexibility. Maybe not. It's okay. Do what feels right. Pivot for that warrior two. Beautiful. Bring it back for that warrior one. Good. Put those hands either on the hips or to the back. We bow that warrior. Nice straight spine. Trying to still keep the hip, shoulder, and the ear right in line with each other. Good. Let's shoot those arms forward. Pivot for that warrior two. To that one. Good. Bring it back for warrior one. And grab the back of that chair. We're going to stretch that hip. We're going to relax through the hip. Let it fall, kind of. Pushing the knee towards the floor. Stretching overhead. Or stretching with your hand on your hip or your shoulder if the arm doesn't go overhead any longer. Some of us have those impingements. Good. And then let's inhale. Come up. We're going to slide that back leg forward. Coming forward. So if I were to say down dog on the chair if we were standing. This is what it would look like in the chair. So we're bringing those feet forward and we're reaching, stretching here. Now for some of us that might be uncomfortable, we could reach here for the cactus pose, right? Good. Ooh, feel that stretch. Can we come a little bit further without somersaulting off that chair? And then let's come all the way up. Sometimes we do that calf stretch when we're standing. So if I was doing that individual calf stretch on the chair, this is what it looks like. Good, pull that toe up, reach that chest forward. Good. So for those of you that like to sit in the chair the whole time, I want you to have options so that you know where to go. And then let's bring that up. And let's reach the other side. Reach it forward. Good. Nice big deep breath. And one more breath. All right. Very, very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and work just a little bit more of that lower body. And then we're going to get up and we're going to do those same poses standing for those of you that would like to. So we're going to pull that leg in, hold it in right here, feel that stretch. Now push your chest forward to elongate that other leg. Now, um, I do have my strap for today, and I forgot to mention that at the beginning of class. So when we stand up, for those of you that stand up or maybe you have your strap handy, you can just quickly grab it now. Um, we're going to hold this just another breath. Good. Now I want you to turn that knee, and we're going to grab it from the top of the leg and, the, and underneath the knee pulling that in towards the armpit. Now I know some of you aren't as flexible as I am, so wherever you are is fine. Just turn that leg just a little bit so we get that inner thigh stretch, that groin stretch. And let's even take that and rock it in and out. So rock it towards the body, away from the body. Towards the body, away from the body. Good. And then let's hold it open right here. All right. And stretch it out. Big stretch. Let's bring that other leg in. Hold it in. Elongate that opposite leg. If you'd like or if it feels hard on your back, you can put the foot on the floor. Hold it in. Bringing that chest forward. Right out here. That's making me tickle. Hold it in right 
Good, now release it back down, hand on the top, hand on the knee, we're gonna pull it open to the side just that little bit. Feel that nice stretch through the hip. Now let's rock it. So we rock it in and out, and in and out. Good. All right, and then let's take both legs, stretch them out, stretch overhead, keep your chin tucked in. Don't let that head completely fall backward. It's hard sometimes to get it over because head weighs about 10 pounds. And then let's bring those arms over. Let's sit up nice and tall. Good. Now let's march it out a little bit. We're going to get ready and do some of those stretches up with the chair. So, the, And if you want to stay seated in the chair, that's fine. You can stay seated in the chair. You're just going to do those things that we did um, just a few moments ago. All right. So let's go ahead and stand up. I'm going to turn my chair so that you can see me. This is a good time to grab that strap if you have it. So we have it when we sit back down because we're going to use it when we sit back down. There we go. So first thing, let's take that step back. Here's that warrior one. Remember seated in the chair how we did that? Yeah. So let's bend that front knee. For those of you that can, we extend that leg back a little further. We can inhale. And now that we're standing, maybe we only reach one arm up because we don't feel stable. For those of you that can and it feels comfortable, reach both arms up. And we're stretching that leg back, feeling that stretch in the hip. While we're here, let's just play with the positioning of the hip just a little bit. I want you to tuck that hip a little bit. And do you notice when I tucked my hip, my knee bent just that little bit. So feel how that stretch is a little different than being elongated the whole way. So elongate that leg, bend forward with that front knee bend. So I'm still tall in the posture, but I just bend my knee. Now tuck that leg in the back again, push that hip forward, feel that stretch. Now even in the chair, you could be doing that same thing by relaxing the leg and extending the leg. Good, inhale, let's elongate one more time. Push that heel to the floor, straighten that leg. Pivot for that warrior two right here. Now I feel that I'm not far enough out, so I'm gonna make my warrior two a little more long. Bending that front knee, take a look, second and third toe for that front knee. Nice tall posture, relax your shoulders. Good. Now remember we did that uh, bend towards the chair. Here it is, standing right here. Big stretch through the side, pushing that foot towards the floor. Good, which foot? You're saying both my feet are on the floor. I want that back leg, I want you to push that foot away and towards the floor. Feel that stretch through the side, elongate there. Ah. Good, and for fun, we could even come the other way, even in the chair. Good, so come the other way. I didn't do this in the chair, but we're gonna do it here. Now we're pushing the front foot, even in the chair, push that front foot. Good, back to that warrior two. Now we pivot back to warrior one. I'm gonna take a little step forward so my foot's on the floor. And remember we did that calf stretch? So in the chair, you just reach for your foot. Here, we're gonna put our hands on the chair, elongate through the spine, push that tailbone back, and lift that foot. Breathe, nice big deep breaths. One more breath here. Good. Now, we did a bowing warrior also. So here we are, we're in that warrior one. Bend your front knee, inhale, lift. Good, hands can come behind, or see we have the ability to do a little bit more without the chair behind us. We could stretch open that chest, bending forward over that chair. Now, if you feel unstable here, hold the chair. And breathe.
and let's bring it up, bring that back foot forward. For those of you sitting in the chair, we slide that leg forward and sit back to the front. Maybe we're all marching. Oh, I feel taller on one side. If you gotta do that other side, or I'm gonna be uh, crooked. I'll turn so that you can see me here. That's right. All right, so take that leg, step it back. If you're on the chair, we're switching sides. You're going to the other side. Good, bend that front knee. Stretching it back, inhale, lift. Push that back foot towards the floor. Now here's where we played a little bit earlier. Let's go to a cactus pose here. Let's take that front hip. I want you to push it forward and bend your knee ever so slightly. So push that hip forward, bend your knee. Good, then inhale and lift. Do you feel that deeper stretch right here through that hip flexor? Yeah, all right, one more time. Bend that knee, push that hip forward. Just ever so slightly, we're in that cactus pose right now, or we're holding on to the chair, either one. Inhale, lift for that nice long warrior one. We're gonna pivot right here for that warrior two pose. Good, nice tall proud. We're still bending that front knee. We're bending through that front leg. Good, pushing that heel, that foot, pushing it down and slightly away as we come over with the rock. Big stretch, push that foot away, feel the elongating. Feel how pushing that foot elongates through the side. And breathe. Beautiful. Good. Let's inhale, come up, rock it back. Big stretch. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Are you pushing through the front foot here? Push through that front foot. Good, bring it back open. Pivot it to the front. I'm gonna take a step forward so that we can do that other calf stretch. Remember in the chair, we just elongate that leg. Here it is right here. Good, so we elongate that leg. In the, in the standing position, we just push those hips back, bend those elbows. Push those hips, straighten, breathe. So bend that front knee. Remember, if you're in the chair, we put our hands either here or on our hips, and we come forward. For those of us that are back here, we could do the same thing, hands here, or because we have the ability, because we have more room, we could hold back behind, come forward, stretching it out, and pushing that back foot, that back heel towards the floor, feeling that stretch. Keep those shoulders and ears in line. I realized that my chin was lifted and my neck was in a precarious position. It wasn't feeling good. And then let's come all the way up. This time, let's take a step backward. So for you in the chair, remember that down dog that we did in the chair? Here it is, here standing. We're gonna do that down dog, we walk ourselves back. We bring our ears right between our arms, stretching through that spine. Push those hips back. Good, feel that nice stretch through the spine. Ah, oh. do you have the happy dog tail? What does that mean? It means I'm gonna stick my tailbone back and lift it ever so slightly so I can wag it. If I were here all curled in, I can't wag as well. But if I'm here, I can wag with freedom. And that's what I want. I want my spine to be unencumbered and long. One more breath. Bend those knees, let's look up. Take a walk forward. Oops. These cords are so long. All right, let's go ahead and have a seat in the chair. All right. Grab your strap. Mine, of course, fell on the floor. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, let's work those hips just a little bit. So I want you to take your strap. We're going to put it underneath your foot. Now, I have a belt here. I don't really have a strap. I do truly own a yoga strap. I just use this as a demonstration so that you can see you can use other things. A long towel would work, a belt from a bathrobe would work, um, even the strap that we use for strength and stretch, although that isn't quite as good as something that doesn't have the stretchiness to it. 
Right, so we're going to lift it up nice and tall, sit up nice and tall. Keep your knee from locking, so don't lock that knee. Now, I want you to think about um, pushing your shoulders back just that little bit. Good. Uh, now take a breath. Exhale, push your heel away, soften through the knee, and bring your toes towards your face and breathe. I just made that stretch a lot deeper by moving just a little bit through the heel and the toe. Right? Keep pulling your shoulders back. It's as though you're going to imprint onto the wall behind you. And breathe. Good. Big deep breath. All right. All right. Now, let's relax just a little bit. We're going to take that strap. Same hands, same leg. We're sitting up tall. Here's this nice hip stretch here. So let's go open. So if you need to anchor, anchor on your chair. For some of us, we have the arms of those chairs. So maybe we need to come forward a little bit so that we can get that good stretch. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. If we can, we can open. Or we still can stay anchored to the arm of that chair. A big stretch here. And breathe. And then let's bring that leg all the way over. Let's lift it up, cross over, cross over, lift, cross over here, sit up tall, stretch. For some of us, this is hard to do because we might have had hip surgery or knee surgery. So if it hurts, don't do this part. Good. Now let's relax enough so that that strap can come off. Let's sit up tall, and my back is off the chair. Just pushing your chest forward, hug that knee in as high as you can, and breathe. Good. Let's put that leg on the floor, sit up nice and tall. Let's do a little cat and cow right here, something in the middle, because we did some one-sided things. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Yeah, just that little bit of cat and cow, stretching it out. Good job. All right, let's come up nice and tall. We're going to take that strap. We're going to put it underneath the other foot. Now, remember, we started out with that nice long leg. We're sitting up tall, supporting ourselves. Push that heel forward. Pull those arms back nice and tall. I want you to release and relax through the heel. Pull those toes towards your face and breathe. Good. Nice, big, deep breaths. Relax. Good. Ah, do you feel that deepening of the stretch? Can you pull your toes a little more closer to your face? And all I'm doing is flexing those toes. Breathe. Sit up tall. Good. All right, relax it down. Take that strap, same hand, same leg. And if you have to scoot forward because you have arms in your chairs, that's okay. Open it up the best that you can. Anchor around the arm of the chair or open. You choose. Breathe. All right, bring it back here. Let's lift it. So opposite arm, opposite leg. For some of us, this is a no-go because of hips or knees. We can lift it here and pull it over if we can, and if not, just hold it there. Stretch and turn. Breathe. Nice big deep breaths. Good. Bring it back to the center. Let's sit up tall. Back off the chair. Hug it in. As high as you can. Just because mine is this high doesn't mean yours has to be. I want you to be comfortable. Do what feels right for you. All right. Let's take that strap off. We're done with that strap now so you can put it down. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's do that cat and cow one more time. Let's do wide legs this time. So, so sit tall. Tilt your pelvis forward. Maybe even pull out a little bit of skin. And we're going to curl 
and lift right here for that cat and cow. Curl and lift. All right. And last one right here, little look up. Oh, now look down, but keep your shoulders lifted. Tuck that chin. Bring that head up. Let's bring that one ear over to the side. And head comes up. Let's do the other side. Good. Head comes all the way up. Let's lean forward here. So come forward. Everything is in line. Hips, shoulders, and ears. So we're not like this. We're not all tucked in. Good. So everything is nice and in line here. Push harder on one side. Look over to the other. Back to the center. Let's push. Center. Bring it back to the center. Now, if some of you get dizzy easily or you've had eye surgery, I want you to stop right here. Just stay right here with the chest forward. For those of you that can, we're going to get a little deeper stretch. We're going to reach towards the floor, letting the head hang and breathing. Hold right here. One more breath. Push through your feet. Let's come all the way up. Walk those feet in. Roll those shoulders back. Good. All right. Now scoot yourself forward just a little bit. And we're going to come back in the chair. Bringing those arms up into that cactus pose. Feel the stretch. We're going to hold this just a little bit in that cactus stretch. No matter where you are, if it feels uncomfortable, try scooting yourself a little bit more forward. Tuck your chin just a little deeper and see if that helps. If you have a back on your chair where your head can hit it, let your head rest there. Mine, I don't have that. So we're just stretching through the chest with those open arms. For some of us, maybe this doesn't work. We have wing back chairs. Do the best that you can. Good. Let's bring those arms back over and come up nice and tall. Let's scoot back in that chair. Tail feathers go through the hole in your chair that allows us to sit up tall. Good. Let's end the way we started with a little stretch through the neck. The ear goes over to the side. And then we tuck that chin. And bring that ear over and up. Other side. Tuck that chin when you're ready. And bring that ear over and all the way up. Let's sit back in that chair. Relax. Closing your eyes for just a moment. I'm taking this last minute to just do some meditative breathing. This would be a great time to turn the TV off and just sit and breathe for a good five to ten minutes. It's so good for you. Or you can stick with me if you have places to go. And we're going to breathe for about a minute or so. Just being relaxed. Be comfortable. Softening through the body.
slowly bring your focus back into the room. Let's open up your eyes. Uh, hold on to some of that calm and that peaceful feeling that you have today. Let's inhale, lift. And bring those hands together. And those hands come right to the prayer position by your heart. Bowing your head to your hands, combining grace, compassion, and wisdom. Three wonderful gifts that when we use them together, it's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing yoga with me today. I hope you're stretched and energized and ready for a fabulous day. Namaste.